here today to talk about Kite Life, Kite Protectant, and restorative products. Basically, it's like a waterproofing sunscreen for all your kite gear and equipment. We're going to demonstrate the product on this kite. Basically, what we have here is a kite that's been half treated and half not treated. This is a six year old kite, it's seen a lot of use, a lot of wear and tear. What we've done with this kite is we've first clean half of it with gear wash and the way we do that is we just dilute a little bit of our solution into um, a bucket of water, use a light scrub brush or a sponge to apply the product and then rinse it off, let it dry thoroughly. Once that's done, we come behind with some Kite Life spray and basically we just spray a little bit of this on the kite and it's as simple as spraying it on a small area, wiping it in, moving on, treating another area and wiping it in. Do both sides of the kite and the leading edge. Once you've allowed that to set in and cure two to three hours, the kite will then become resistant to dirt, stains, oxidation, saltwater contaminants, uh, resist corrosion. It basically creates a cross-linked polymer that attaches to the molecular level of the fabric and materials themselves. It resists mold and mildew from freshwater usage as well as salt stains, and it also has the highest UV protection available at SPF 50. Let me go ahead and show you now how effective the product is once applied. A little water in the sand, which you find at every beach. I'm going to take a little water and apply it over here onto the kite. Notice how it runs right off. And take a little bit of sand, apply the sand to the kite. Normally you'd have a mess on your hands right now. But as you can see, the product shakes right off, the kite is dry to the touch, and we've got no sand. Now if we try the same thing over here on this side of the kite, you're going to notice the difference. This is again the kite, side of the kite that has not been treated. Pour a little bit of water on there. Again with the sand. Okay. Now you'll notice the difference here. The sand's not coming off. Water's permeated the kite, so now you have basically sandpaper on the kite. 